Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Today we are going to do a haul video with some of the things that I bought for this month. I do this kind of videos every month because I just want to show you the things that I bought that I'm trying out. Some of these products I bought because I saw them on other channels or videos and I was kind of curious I wanted to, to try them by myself and some other products I just decided to get. Let's just see what I have here in my bag. Now this is a product that I have been out for a couple of years and this is Coco Brown Self Tan and this is extra dark shade. I just started using uh, self tanners and I really start to like them. I haven't tried this one. I read some kind of mixed reviews about this tanner but I wanted to try it. I'm a little bit scared so I'll try it on my legs today just to see how it will work. And then I will try it all, to use it all over my body. But this is a self tanner that I'm very excited. I know this is the newest one, newest shade because they have one that was lighter. I didn't find that in the store but I found this one extra dark. Now this is one hour tan mousse so I have to work with this one very fast. But we'll see, I'll try it on my legs before. Then of course I bought this self tan applicator. applicator. This one I need two, I don't own that one. And then I was curious to try this uh, Too Faced Hangover face primer. And I've been using it for now three days. I used it just three times. And I do like it. I think it's a good primer. I don't really know if I think it's everything that it says it's supposed to be. Like 100% smoother, 100% radiant, 100% hydrated. 100% full night's rest. <laughs> I don't know if I would give it 100% on everything, but I will definitely continue using it, see if I maybe change my mind, but I do like it. It smells very nice. It does feel, make my face feel moisturized and hydrated, and that's a good thing. Now, I do get oily on my face, especially in the summer, when it's warm, but even if my skin is oily, it needs hydration, it needs to be moisturized, it has to be a good primer and right primer for that. Well, it's a, it's a good primer, I won't say it's a bad primer, it's a good primer. I just don't think it's 100% of everything here. And then I bought another primer that I've been using for maybe two weeks now. And it's this, uh, the one, Il uh, Skin Face Primer. This primer is a good primer. It's um, from this brand Oroflame. It looks a little bit shiny when you apply it, but it really makes my skin glow a little bit. It's not shimmer, it's not, it's not too much, it's just a nice primer. I don't think it makes my makeup stay longer, but it, I think it's a good primer and I will definitely continue using it. Then I bought also this lip sensation from the same Aura Flame Sweden mousse, matte mousse, and I don't like this liquid lipstick. It comes in this cute packaging. It's a beautiful color, but it's like a gel. It's too thick. Can you see when I apply it? It's kind of it feels dry when I apply it. It feels dry, it's too thick, and it's kind of hard to put even on my lips. It looks uneven, it goes into my lines on my lips, and it feels so, so dry. It feels better when I put a top coat or gloss over it, but alone, it's terrible. I, I do hate it. I don't think I will use it again, really. I don't like it. So I don't recommend this one. And I was curious to try the NARS concealer. And I bought this one. They said on in the store, in the Sephora, that this one is better for the under eye area. 
and I bought in shade vanilla I think yes number two light vanilla let me see if I can apply it here and it's a very nice shade it's a thick concealer I'm sorry my battery just died in my camera so I had to change it now I do like this NARS concealer and it feels nice it's what I have on me right now and for at least eight nine hours and it feels very nice it's full coverage I do like it it's not the best concealer but I do like it and I will definitely continue using it so this is the NARS concealer in uh, light to vanilla and then I have two more products and then I had to try this Rimmel, Rimmel, Rimmel lipstick and this is in shade 610 high flyer flyer high flyer and it looks like this is a cute packaging very cute packaging let's see if I can swatch it here. and it's a very nice color very nice for fall and I do really like it it feels nice on my lips too I bought the only one because I wanted to try the formula and to see if I like it and how it feels on my lips so I bought only this color but I think I will order more some colors that I can use now uh, during the summer but I really really like this lipstick I think this packaging is very cute now uh, this line if you can see here it's the same color as the lipstick so I think uh, that this one it will help me to see the shade and recognize the shade that I maybe want to use cute packaging and the last thing that YouTube made me buy it's actually this Rimmel London Stay Matte uh, powder, pressed powder and this is in translucent I think translucent, yes and I saw so many reviews that I really just had to buy it and this one sets my makeup beautifully and it smells like a, like a cream, hand cream or Nivea I think it almost smells like and I really really like this powder now I don't think that's the best setting powder that I used but it's a good one and I don't regret buying it so I did order a couple of more things but they didn't come so I'm waiting for them and when they come I will have that in my next haul video and uh, that was everything for this one. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!